Do you want to grow your own peppers? But maybe you still have a couple of questions. I'm going to show you how. Welcome to Woo That's Hot, where the peppers are hotter than Hidden Harvest Grow Lights, not a sponsor. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to grow some peppers. I'm not an expert, I'm learning along with you today. I figure as I learn, I'm going to show you, I'm going to document my growth. Not sure how often I'll update the videos, but today we're going to start with planting the seeds, get the germination going. If I make mistakes, you'll learn along with my mistakes. If I'm successful, we can learn along that way and just take a journey with me growing some peppers. These are the varieties that I will be growing in my first super hot pepper garden. Seven Pot Primo Chocolate, Butte Jalokia, Yellow Reaper, Skunk Red, Chocolate Bubblegum Seven Pot, Carolina Reaper, the red ones, Golden Reaper, Armageddon Chocolate, Primatali, Jay's Peach Go Scorpion Cross with Pink Tiger, Mutant X Peach Rainforest, El Oro de Ecuador, Brown Jalapeno, Orange Habanero, Swiss Chocolate Habanero, and some white carbonara. Different people do this differently. I wrote all of the peppers down that I'm growing with a number beside it. So each pepper has a number. And then here I have like a map that I made of my garden with the numbers. 72 cells available here. And I'm gonna have 50 plugs, so some open spaces, but that's how I'm gonna plan it out and map it out. Let's talk about the equipment that we're gonna need today. A grow dome kit on Amazon for about 30 bucks. It included this tray that holds the water. And then here, 72 cells. Each one of these cells has holes in it. All the water from these cells will flow down the bottom of this and evenly distribute between all the seedlings. And then we have a humidity dome here. And then we have a humidity dome here. And what this does is it holds the moisture in. Generally, that's what you want to do in the early stages of the seedlings. Once they've germinated, you may want to open up here. You can't really see it on camera, but there's a vent. You can kind of turn and open it. This heating mat is going to go underneath all of this, plug into the wall. This will add around 5, 10, possibly 15 degrees, we'll say on average around 10 degrees, because you want the soil to be nice and warm. Generally around 80 degrees is the recommended temperature for super hots from what I've read. So we have plugs here. This brand is called Rapid Rooter. I also got this on Amazon. It was recommended to go with this kit, so hopefully it fits. These look like soil, but they're not. Peat moss and binder mixed together. Soak water in these, put them in there, put your seeds in, good to go. We have water. I also have gloves here. That may seem like it's overkill, but some of these peppers are around 2 million Scoville. So if you're touching these seeds, you might get a significant amount of capsaicin on your fingers, hard to wash off, might get in your eyes. Just better to be safe and sorry, in my opinion. And then obviously, you're gonna need seeds. Gotta grow them. I'm gonna cut open this bag here of plugs. <laughs> Now, what some people recommend is that you put a little bit of lemon because water generally has a pH of around 7.5. Plants love 5.5 to 6.5, 6 being that kind of that sweet zone. However, I don't have a pH meter to accurately measure exactly where it is. So I'm not gonna add lemon. So what you do is you take one of these, you're gonna squeeze it like a sponge because it's basically like a sponge. You're gonna submerge it in the water and release just like you would a sponge if you're trying to soak up water, pull or whatever. And then when you pull it out, it's going to drip. Let it drip a little over the water. And then you just slide it here. Don't have to go all the way down. Just kind of push it in like that. All right, so I have my first four plugs in. And now I'm going to take my Mutant X Peach. Because according to my map, that's where I'm going to put these up here, these top four. I'll just push all the way in. I'm going to drop two seeds in each plug. These plugs have pre-made holes in them. So it's not like you have to dig anything or, you know, whatever. What I have heard is you want to take some moss, rip it off the side, put it in the holes. And that's supposed to help it grow better as well. Don't know the reasoning exactly. I'm very new to this, like I said. But what we have is we have our plugs, two seeds in each hole, rip the little moss off the side, plug the hole. So what I'm gonna do is some camera magic here, and I'm gonna fast forward to me being done. As you guys are able to see here, everything's done, everything's planted. Uh, these have the pre-made holes, as I discussed before. Kinda wanna show you what I was talking about. See this pre-made hole here? You go and you can pick some of this moss off and just kinda cover. Just like that. Do that with all these. Put the dome on it. Put it on some heat. Be ready to go. And all right, guys, here we are in the grow center where the lights are. I've got my heating pad plugged in. Now the heating pad is important, as I said. It keeps the temperature where you want it. You want this to be hot, you want it to be humid around 80 degrees, especially super hot. You really want those in the early germination stage to be around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Really get that going. 
Up above here, I have some lights that I referenced in the intro. This is from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. From everything I've read and researched, these are some of the best lights in the business. Check them out. Talk to Brad. You can talk to Brad on Instagram at Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Look that up. Uh, they also have a website. I'll make sure I put the website in the video description here. Put that in the show notes. I have these lights about 16, 17 inches above. Uh, I read you one around 16, 18 inches above during the germination stage. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Um, you don't have to do it exactly like I did it. You don't have to be, you know, do as, you don't have to do as many things during your germination process. But from what I've read, this is what gives you the best chance for success, these kinds of steps. So hopefully in the next week or so, we'll have some stuff sprouted up. Do a follow-up video. Also, guys, please check out my Instagram page, Woo That's Hot. I'll be posting pictures there. And you can follow the Facebook page as well, Woo That's Hot, W-H-E-W, That's Hot. So, guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And remember, Woo That's Hot. Oh, hi there. Fancy meeting you here. Do you love this hot content? Do you need more? Well, you're in luck. Click above. You can subscribe there. Or perhaps you can check out my other videos to the left. But first, subscribe. Hit that logo up there. Hit it, then hit subscribe. Then check out my other videos. Do it.